please turn our feet and welcome to Pastor for today's message. Amen. Amen. Are you blessed? Yes. Amen. Amen. Can we just begin to thank God and appreciate God for his faithfulness? Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you all the glory. In fact, if I wish we, we have an understanding of the goodness and the faithfulness of Jehovah. You see, this God we are talking about, I've never seen. The same thing the devil was looking for, you know, you know, to be like the most high. It's what he has given to us freely through Jesus. The problem was that the devil wanted to get it direct. But God's plan is that we get it through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, thank you so much. I give you a, where would that have been? People like us wouldn't have had opportunity to be where we are today, if not for your faithfulness. If not that you are you you you, you are not partial, you know, you, you 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 are so good. Lord, we thank you. We have come again before you, and we ask oh God that the little time we spend in your presence, Riba Bosha Kamuni, because of the sound. That the little time we will spend before your presence, O oh God, will remain indelible. Things we are going to learn will remain indelible. Things we are going to achieve will remain indelible. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Church, you know we have been on this topic. Seven pillars of wisdom. Seven pillars of wisdom. And... Uh, do you think that you are getting something from the teaching? Or does it just look like a story? One of the stories in the Bible, you know, about Samson, about uh, Goliath, about David when we were small, because I like drawing. I only go to the Bible to draw David killing Goliath. I will draw Moses crossing the race. I will draw Samson killing lion. These are the kind of things I only go to the Bible. Maybe this topic is like those, one of those stories, is it to you? Or do you think you are getting something from the message? Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you getting something from the message? Yes. Amen. Remember we are teaching about seven pillars of wisdom. Pastor, in a statement, why are you teaching this topic? If it is our Bible study manual, it will say central thought. Central thought. Pastor, what's the central thought of this teaching? The central thought of this teaching is so that in every of our building, in every building family, in every building business, in every building our community, that it will be like the one Jehovah himself built. That's the central thought. In every beauty, in our pursuit for education, in our pursuit to have a godly marriage, in our pursuit to build our community, that it will be exactly like the one God built himself. Does that make sense? Why? Because with prayer, we can do what Jehovah can do. I repeat, with prayer, you don't say, I can't do it. You can't, because you are God. Small letter G. With prayer, you can do what Jehovah can do. So if that is true, Pastor Joseph, is it true? Can we confirm that if it's true? There are scriptures that said it. You said there's nothing impossible to those that believe. Even Jehovah confirms it. Jesus even said it. He said, if you continue in my teaching, even greater things shall yet do. So in the final analysis, with prayer, we can do exactly what Jehovah can do. And if that is possible, why can't we build like Jehovah? Why can't we build a ministry that will last forever? Why can't we build our family that will last forever? Does that make sense? I don't mean the husband and wife will be alive forever. This is generation to generation. This one, you know. Am I making sense? 
So if you ask now, what's the central thought of this teaching? Who can share? I made two points as a central thought to know whether I'm communicating. Hmm? Two points now, I just made two points. Number one point that our building will be like the same. That God built by Himself. You don't need God to come down and build for you. But you can build it exactly like God. Number two, with prayer we can do what God can do. If that is true, why are we dying of sicknesses? If that is true, why are we dying of accident? You know, I've been telling you this, but to you it's like a story, but it's real. I pray you come to the realm that I'm operating now. And that realm is anywhere I'm going to make a mistake, God will cancel it. I'm telling you, it's not, no prayer, no, it's not about prayer. I leave the principle, I don't leave prayer. Because the prayer is included, it's part of the principle. I'm telling you, if let's say I'm going to walk now, and there is something that's going to happen, that will be a problem, that will jeopardize our success, God will cancel it without even, I'm, I'm telling you it's true. There was a time God was singing this to me, and I had it, and I followed it. Come walk with me. The road is straight and narrow, Idikae. Come walk with me. For you cannot walk alone. Oh, the road is straight. And there are many, many dangers. Idika, come walk with me. And I will lead you through, lead you through. Come walk with, and I say, God, is it real? The road is straight and narrow, Idika. You don't know the road. Come walk with me. Let me tell you, there's a time you will walk with God, and God will begin to walk for you. That's the level I'm operating now. I can't make mistakes. I can't fail. Because I'm no more the driver of my destiny and my life. Just like in Revelation chapter 12. The woman, all that God wanted her to do is just to complete the vision. Read it. That was the requirement God wanted from the woman. The Bible said, even the woman completed the vision, the woman with 12 stars on her head, the angel Michael, God took the vision. But, and as God was taking the vision, demon, demon, devil was there, the serpent. At the beginning, Genesis, he was busy putting more heads. He had only one head in Genesis. But in Revelation 12, he now got seven heads. Mm. And when it was time, the woman finished the vision. God said, okay, vision has finished. God wanted to take the vision. The devil jumped and said, come on, get out. The Bible says in Jamaica, one, one person dealt with the devil. And the, woman, and the devil said, ah, God has taken this vision. Okay, let me go and destroy the woman. God. Then we got to destroy the woman. Do you know, do you, do you, the Bible says, and God took the woman to where God has prepared for the woman. In the wilderness, in the midst of trouble. The devil tried five times to destroy the woman. At the time, God gave the woman wind to fly. It wasn't no more the woman's problem to look after herself. It wasn't no more the woman's problem to secure herself from the devil. All that God wanted her to do was the vision. Maybe the vision was given birth to power. God began to work for the woman. From this time till when you meet with Jesus face to face, Jehovah will work for you. Amen. You don't understand what I'm talking about. If anything is going to happen to jeopardize my work, to jeopardize my children, anything, God will remove it. And I will only, ah, was it why this happened? That's when you decide to build like God. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 1, he says, Wisdom 
wisdom has built. And not only did wisdom build, wisdom has also hooched out seven pillars, seven spirit of God. In, in New Testament, it's called the seven spirit of God. If you are building your marriage with this seven spirit of God, you have the seven spirit of God, and you are building your, you can, your marriage, can, it will just be, in fact, the thorns in the roses will be removed. I'm telling you the truth. If you are building your business, standing on this five, seven, seven, seven spirit of God, and what is the number one, the first one? Who can remind us? Let's go to where we find it. Revelation chapter seven. Just read 12. We have read 11. And I want King James, please. Don't read with toy Bible, toy English. Read with soul. I didn't understand, I didn't understand, understand King James until I read other verses. It was so hard that I have to dissolve, put it, soak it with other version before I understood it. And now, King James is the easiest. Continue. Uh, Revelation chapter 7. It should be 11, 12, or read only 12. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Blessing. Blessing number one. And glory. Two. And wisdom. Three. And thanksgiving. Four. In honor. Five, power. six, and might. seven. Have you seen it? These are the seven spirits of God. As you know, praise is ascribing. That was what they were seeing. They were seeing the seven spirits. Be unto the Lord. And when we read Proverbs 9, verse 1, we found out that not only that wisdom had killed. When I got this revelation early, around 2000, 2001, and I said, when I'm building my marriage, I make sure that these seven spirits, these seven pillars of wisdom are in place. When I'm building any ministry, just talk about Bishop Malaysia, Puchon can never fail because they are standing on these seven pillars of wisdom. It's, there's something Hebrew says. Can you get Hebrew chapter 3, verse 4? Mm -hmm. 3 or 4? 3 4. Can you get it for me? Let me see. Is that talking about the Judah? 3 3. 3 3 4. Hebrew 3 3 4. Where every house is built by some man. Hey, you see now, see now. Every house. Mama, let me, can I tell you something? It might be shocking, but it's true. I'm bigger than Church of Omission of Malaysia. I'm bigger than Church of Omission of Spirit. It's not to boast. It's church. It's the bride of Christ. But I'm bigger than both of them. Who can, who can explain it? Who can, who can help me explain it? Why? Why am I bigger than that? Okay, read that place. Let's see where that, that place will throw a light. He that built all things is God. <clears throat> read start three again. For every house is built by some men. Uh -huh. But he that built all things is God. Beautiful. Why is it that I can stand boldly here? That is why, by his special grace, you know, I said, I'm going to buy church for Malaysia. I'm bigger than me. I'm bigger than Church of Commission Malaysia. I'm bigger than Church of Commission Australia. <laughs> it's a mystery. But it's true. It's a deep revelation. That is why I can. You, what you watch the Commission Malaysia has and what the Commission cannot make me change or sin against God. Don't forget that he was already in my room before I traveled to Malaysia. Church of Commission of Malaysia was in my womb. Before I traveled to Malaysia, Church of Commission Australia was in my womb. So how can you give birth to what is greater than you? Oh, to your prayer. The okro, 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 you know okro, okro? Do you know what Malaysia call it? Lady's finger. He didn't want it. Do you know why? These are the things, Bible. Because I'm not. How do I say? You are the bride. I am bridegroom. I'm representing the bridegroom. Or does it make sense now? Does it make sense now? Jesus has not within the church. I am Enoch. Pastor, 
representing 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 1. Tell you. What did he say? Be ye followers of me. As I follow what? Even as I even as I also am of Christ. Now listen now. I'm not representing the church. I'm representing Christ. That's why I'm greater. And the, does that make sense? I am representing Christ. I'm not, let's say, Christ and the wife. You, the church, you are the wife. That's why if I follow Christ, people will think that I'm the one building, but actually it's Christ in me, the hope of glory. Are you getting it? Christ in me, the hope of glory. I am crucified with Christ. It's not for me that lives, but Christ died. When I was reading, I was reading a place in Galatians. I saw a lot of revelation. I saw revelation that I've never seen before. I took time. I was just studying the book of Galatians this week. Chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. Man! I'm telling you, there are things you have never. There is a place I came. Eh? He said, um, this is good you enjoy that place. It's good you enjoy that place. Yeah, yeah, that place again. Galatians 3. Shakabura Baha. Galatians 3. Read 14. I was studying this place and I saw something. That the blessings of Abraham might come up, come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ. Can you get me? There's a place he said. When he was talking about seed, he wasn't talking about many seeds. Get it for me. Browse between 12. Yeah, okay, 16. 16, really? Give, give it to me. Now, now to Abraham and his seed, where the promise made. Good, good, 16, good, good. <clears throat> good. Save not and to, the, to seeds. He did say seeds. That's what he's saying. Read it again. He said not unto seeds as of many. As of many. He wasn't talking of many seeds. He was talking about what was. Now look at the revelation there that's going to come out. You've not finished one. But as of one and to thy seed which is Christ. Did, did that make sense? No. Have I ever told you that one day I will preach the whole Bible in 30 minutes? What's my reason? Why did I say that? Who can remember? The Bible is one. The Bible is one. The Old Testament is God acting what he's going to do through Abraham. That's why Abraham is not a son of God. He's a friend of God. Read your whole Bible. No wonder when Jesus came, Jesus also confirmed, he said the bosom. There is a kingdom in the neighborhood of God's kingdom. There is a kingdom in the neighborhood of God's kingdom called Abraham bosom. God's kingdom is three cuts, uh, uh, Cotton, what's the name of what is your name of your house? Uh, Rodo Cotton. Rodo Cotton. What is it? Rodo Cotton. God's and the Abraham Bosun is the next street. His friend. And where Jesus is going to prepare for us? Second heaven. Abraham, third heaven. I mean, uh, first heaven. Where Jesus is saying, Where I will be. Remember, I told you one bishop came and preached in my church and said, We are not going to heaven. I took the mic and asked him one question. I said, devil and the who is who now? Devil and the My meeting with him. My mother-in-law my was saying, this small boy, this small boy, you two is soft people. <laughs> so Bishop doesn't even know who is what, devil and evil. They don't know. Devil's name changed when he discovered evil. His name was Lucifer. When he said the evil, evil I did now, him. until evil was found in him. He said, We're not going to, I said, Okay, you're not going to help, but me, Jesus said, Where I'll be is where I'll be. <laughs> Whatever Jesus will be, that's where I'm going to be. So, where will Jesus be? He said, Heaven. I said, You see how you're fooling yourself? You are bookshop, you are not bishop. You are bookshop. Oh, book, intelligent of men, all this stuff. When you hear people preaching, you come and preach, you don't even have revelation. I don't know what 
I'm making sense, George. Did you get, if you, uh, I enjoyed the book of Galatians, I was just enjoying it. Look at what he said. Do you know what he was saying here? He said seed. All the time God was talking about seed, 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 your seed, your seed. He wasn't talking about that seed. He was talking about Christ. That's the revelation. Okay, read the last verse. Read the last verse and see what he says. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Verse 29. Yes. <clears throat> and if ye be and if ye be Christ, then ye are Abraham's seed. If you if you, are you convinced that you are born of uh, born again and you're of Christ, you didn't become of Christ until you became Abraham's seed. What kind of honor was? I mean, God just acted. Abraham was just what was that? If you now let's take it past just let me read it. We are reasoning by the, not by the, uh, we, we, but not that this is, we are reasoning by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now let's compare it. I started, that was when I sat down, after, after reading, studying it. I said, oh God, if you used Abraham to show us what you are doing in the spirit, Abraham was also weak. God doesn't mean you are weak. No, I am not weak. But the time will come when you think I'm weak. A time will come when I, because I didn't help you when you wanted, you think I'm weak. A time will come when you were expecting this and it didn't work and you think I'm weak. Are you aware that God never said Abraham lied? Is man adding to when he said, said my sister, I do I, there are a lot of things. And I said, God, oh, wow. So God was acting what he wanted to do to Abraham. Because even Jesus, Galatians, thank God for people like Apostle Paul. How did he get all this revelation? Don't forget, he went to third heaven. And he didn't just go. Do you know when you, in the spiritual realm, you need only one minute to cover infinite message. You need only one minute or one second the God will give you the whole message for life. You see it, though you are not dying yet, but you see when you start dying. Within one second, you will see when you are a baby. You will see all the, you will judge yourself. Nobody's going to judge you. <laughs> did I do that? Hey, hey, so did me and Jimmy was doing this. I was stealing money from his pocket. Hey, so who is it? Hey, hey, hey. When you see it, if you didn't end in the pen. But if you see yourself repenting, oh, thank God I repented. Oh, Lord, my God, I made it up. But if you find yourself, you will be proud. Mm -hmm. You will find, you will join, you are the final job. God is the greatest job, but you are the final job. Number one, blessing. What is blessing? You must have the spirit of protection. You must have the pillar called protection. I have told you, two platforms for prosperity is peace, shalom, and protection. So it means, if you don't have this blessing, it means you will level and put in your pocket. If there's nothing I have enjoyed from 2000 till now, it's not losing anything that God has given to me. You can't be losing things, no matter how, if you make one million and lose two million. If you make one million and sickness takes two million, you're not making any progress. There's no success. There are counter worms and caterpillar eating what you're doing. So you need protection, blessing. That's the first pillar. The second pillar is glory. And what is glory? Glory reveals the presence of God. You need the presence of God. Jesus said, Thy own self. John 17, verse 4, can you read? With thy own self. <clears throat> I have glorified thee on the earth. Uh -huh. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Uh -huh. And now, O Father, mm -hmm. glorify me, glorify thou me with thine own self. With thy own self. 
And I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the one we enjoyed before I left heaven. Read it. With the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Before I left heaven, I won't, I don't, do you know what he's asking about? He's asking, do you know what Jehovah means? When he entered, something was happening. He said, and do you know where he started praying this prayer? In John chapter 12. When the Bible says, there was this body that came upon him, 23. You see, it came upon him. And he said, the hour has come for the son to be glorified. And he started saying in 25, he that loved his life will lose it. He that hated his life will get it. And he said, glorify. He was saying, and look at what, what did he say in the last verse of that place? He said, if I be lifted up, Lord, I want to be lifted up. So I'm tired. I want everybody to know you are here. I don't want to be winning one day, one day, one day, one, so one day, one. I want the whole world. So that was what Jesus was asking. So, if you really want to build the world, you need the presence of God, Jehovah himself. Remember, we have our own glory. Jesus had his own glory. His glory was revealed in John chapter 2, verse 11. When he turned water into wine, the Bible said, and his glory, not Jehovah's glory. Not Jehovah's glory. Remember, there, was, there were two recommendations God did. This is my beloved son. Hear ye him. He came when he has done well, when his glory has gotten him to. He now said, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. The first one was not, In whom I am well. Many are called, but few are chosen. At this time, God has chosen him. The same way, you, you need to develop your glory. A time is coming when your glory will not be able to do the rest. You need God's glory. A time came in Moses' life. He said, I'm taking them, 33, Exodus. He said in verse 18, show me thy glory. I can't go again without your glory. The first time he asked, he said, send it, you want to. He said, no. He said, now show me your glory. Because he said, you want to see my glory. If you see me, you will die. So you, you need, a time will come in your life that you don't need your own glory again. My own glory one day become the president of Biafra. My own glory, we change the story of Biafra. When people travel and come or fly all the way from, you know, they feed their first world country, when they come, they will give us zero, zero world country. Because Nigeria should be six world country anyway. Then Liberia, no, I don't see it should be third world country. I say, I know. <laughs> then uh, Malaysia, second world country, you know. Then they say Australia, Canada, and Israel are all the first world country. So when they see Biafra, it will be zero world country. That's my glory. But that's not the greatest glory. Does that make sense? The greatest glory, a time will come when glory herself will say, God, thy glorify me with thy own self. I can't carry these people along. I didn't give birth to them. I can't affect every one of them. They are over 300, I mean, 80 million. And God said, don't worry. I have glorified myself. And I will yet glorify myself. So you need the glory of God for what? For the presence of God. A time will come when you cannot, there are walls you cannot break or say unless Jehovah appears. And that's for empowering the people. A time will come when you want to empower the people. Your own glory cannot do it. Your own glory of turning wine, water into wine cannot do it again. You need greater option. Does that make sense? So number one, bless you, you need protection. Number two, you need to make sure that the presence of the Lord is with you always. Develop your work to the extent Jehovah himself will start manifesting on your behalf in situations where you cannot. And it's only at that time that you can empower others. Jesus did it. Three and a half years, he taught his disciples. At the time, he said, you are qualified to get it direct from Jehovah. Now, what's the third one? Wisdom. Spirit of wisdom. This is not the same wisdom. Personified. I told you there are three aspects of wisdom. Three dimensions of wisdom. Applied wisdom. And uh, applied wisdom. 
Wisdom personified. What is the other one? Implied, implied. implied and applied. Implied, you're referring to somebody. Applied, someone applied it. So this is just like wisdom that you need to download on your phone. The one I'm teaching today. You are a wisdom personified. You, we, I expect you to go to the highest level, which is you, when you enter, people will see wisdom. Epitome of wisdom. How can I fail in life if through I've gone to that level? That's why I say, watch me. When I came newly in 2010, when I share with people what God did in Malaysia, you know, they will look at me and say, oh, this, we know you're, you put the Bible, the whole Bible, we know that. Bible dictionary. But talking about this miracle and testimonies, there's no way I can take them back to Malaysia or rewind myself like video. So the next thing I will tell them, time shall tell. It wasn't up to two years, three years, five years. They started seeing it, a sign of it. Because the same wisdom, I carry the wisdom. It was only time. Within time, you will see. Within the next, I'm telling you. You know when people, when they see, let's say, you are from third world country, and you are like showing us that you know the Christianity we took back to you, we, we brought Christianity to you. Yeah, no doubt, you brought the information to us, but we got the information and we produced it with power. And we joined it and got power. And we are bringing back the power. The same information you brought to us, we are giving it to you with power. And when they found out that, yes, yeah, this guy is really, there's something unique about this guy. There's something. And when I come to meet him, say, how are you, Pastor Joseph? I say, I'm also. Oh, may the Lord forgive him. He's a sinner. He's only God that can be awesome. Oh, Pastor Joseph, why are you sinning against God? I say, I'm also. They will go to that place and say, you know where I can never fail? Because I'm among the gods of our generation. Small letter G. Oh, no one I sprinkled the blood of Jesus upon him. <laughs> well, he says he's God. <laughs> and I tell you, they are waiting for me to become warm, like hell, mm -hmm. and die. They watch me three years, four years. I'm unstoppable. I'm still moving with great speed. I'm a bulldozer. Nothing stops me. Anything that stands on my way, pop. Instead of them to say, of the truth, we have seen it. With that pride, first world country, how can third world country come? I mean, that's the vote, but it's not my business. One thing is certain the body of Christ must move forward. Just are you getting what I'm saying now? I carry the wisdom from my I'm a pito. I don't need to apply, I don't need to put it in my phone. Because it's no more me that lives, it's Christ. Church of Memphis says. But well, what we are talking about is not, what we are talking about now is the third pillar of wisdom, which is the spirit of wisdom. It's just like when you don't know what to do, or you need you just put go to Apple Store, or, or you go to what do you call it? Google. Google Play. Then you download the wisdom. Are you getting that? Let's let's take a journey, let's take some scriptures before. I conclude. Let's 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 do let's do um, Proverbs chapter four. Proverbs chapter four. We start from verse five. Proverbs four, from verse five. Let me show you something. If we can quickly get through to twelve, that would be great. So that we get all the message there quickly. Get wisdom. Get application. Do you see now? Do you see now? Apply wisdom. Get get your phone. Download wisdom. There's no wisdom in your brain. Get understanding. Get understanding. Forget it not. Never ever forget it. Keep on using that. Continue. Why? Neither you decline from the words of my mouth. Okay. Forsake her not. And she shall, and she shall preserve thee. You see now, if you follow the leading of that application, if every morning you ask it, you know, it's just like a... Uh, Technology, talk for technology. You now have Google, you have uh, Echo. That's uh, the last one in our house. 
Mm. It was he that gave birth to it all. <laughs> when the twins were growing up, they are, are they still a friend of him? <laughs> Just enter house, you say light, light to go on, television on, all these things, internet working. Call go. You see, that load which star. And when you are living, you just ask, do you know even now, if you want to know how much electric bill, you just ask. We'll tell you your electric bill, your current bill, just that. So if you want a voice of a woman or voice of a man, you ask weather. What's the weather like? I don't know. I want to know, choose the clothes I want to wear. It will tell you the weather. If you tell her, tell me a story, Echo. Echo will start telling you a story. What do you say? <laughs> That's what God is asking. Get wisdom. Do not forsake her continuously. <clears throat> Love her. Love her! She shall keep thee. Jesus, continue. Wisdom is the principal thing. Do you didn't see it now? If there's anything you should prioritize, if there's anything that should come first in your life, it's wisdom. Now, blessing is what? Protection, right? Yeah. Are we getting it? Glory is what? Carrying the presence of God to empower other people. You know, you can't empower people. It's only God that I keep on telling you. Can you convince people that God is free? But when you bring down God himself, he can convince them. Is that not true? Yeah. If you introduce them to God. Apostle Paul was seeing Jesus every day. Jesus was calling for altar call. Come and receive. He was following Jesus. Are yeah, you aware that? He was the one that ordered for the cleaning of Steve. He never. But when he had an encounter with Jesus spiritually, his question became, what master, what do you want me to do? And he came in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 16. And he said, from now henceforth, let no man, don't know any man according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Are you getting it, church? Wisdom, the spirit of God, continue. <clears throat> wisdom is the principal thing. The principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Uh huh. And with all that getting, get he, understanding. He said, if there's if there's no application you have in your phone, if there's no other one, make sure wisdom. Continue. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. Not just having it in your phone. Exalt her every day. Worship her. She shall bring thee to honor. When thou dost embrace her, she shall give to thine head an ornament of grace. Ornament of the look at what God. Hey, church, this is a promise that I will definitely fulfill in life. Whether in life or dead. Because if I die, you will definitely visit my village. But I pray you visit it before I do. God use me to do what you want to do there. So that you see where I came out from. There's no body. Because I go for wisdom application, put in my phone. Every morning, what do you want me to do? Wisdom? Like echo, like gogo. What, what's the weather? Every question, everything. What's my account? Everything. Principles, sir. Principles, sir. You can't. In fact, you know how they will do it? You start flushing toilet. When you enter a house, put on light. Use this television. Is it? We start fresh, it means nothing. That's the kind of thing God is adding. Let wisdom be that application. That will do everything. Have access to your account. Have access to every information. And they will honor you. Put an honor on the crown. Look at me. You don't know where I came out from. Somebody from my it's just like when you say Adelaide. And you mentioned Elizabeth, Sobol. Somebody said, I don't know Elizabeth. It's how they don't know. Different people in Adelaide doesn't know. In my village, on Hofia, people doesn't know even my village. On Hofia, people doesn't know there's a village called Rufi. Aku. Why? Wisdom. Continue, son. <clears throat> verse what? Oh, that's verse 9. Mm -hmm. She shall give. To thine head an ornament of grace, mm -hmm. a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Yeah. Hear, O my son. Hear, O my son. And receive my sayings. Mm -hmm. And the years of thy life shall be many. Child, you will live long. I have taught. 
I have taught thee in, in the way of wisdom. In the way of wisdom. I have led thee in the right path. Mm -hmm. When thou goest, thou remember to stop at twelve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When thou goest, <coughs> thy steps shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, mm -hmm. thou shalt not stumble. So, so what's wisdom? Now we find out. Blessing is for protection. Glory is for what? A time will come when you want the world to know your God, to know you need the power of God. That was what Moses said. Moses said they will not believe me. But if you is Jehovah, show me that glory. Now, what is the work of wisdom? What's the function of wisdom? Let's yes, okay, go to 1010. Ecclesiastes 1010. Just read the last statement. <coughs> Wisdom is probable to direct. Are you getting it now? What does that mean? Why are you getting the application? Who can help me preach? Why did you get the application? Why did you get the application? Why do you get your you have you, uh, when you drive what goggle what do you use? Maze? You know maze? <laughs> Why do you use maze or goggle map to drive? Mm, or GPS? Directions. Mm, directions. Wisdom is for GPS. I want you to, if you don't understand this, as the first one blessing protection, if the spirit of protection is not protecting what you are laboring for, you cannot build like Christ. A time will come when the world needs to know who you are. Glorify me. That time will bring back all the glory to you. This war cannot move forward again. We need to break barriers. Then the spirit of wisdom is profitable to direct. Not only for you to direct you, but to direct your followers. You know, there's something that amazes me. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Pastor Joseph, how is it that from Africa, you came to Malaysia? From Malaysia, you did seven years. Now you have, you, you are going almost 11 years in Australia. Soon you go to Canada. How is it that only you, and I know you are so foolish, and so weak. Just like David in 69, verse 5 and 6. Can you get it? Psalm 69, 5 and 6. Just like David. But how is it that everybody calls you from a bad bishop? From headquarters, you are foolish, you are stupid. But why is it that things are just going smoothly? Whatever you are building is just going smoothly. Whatever you are doing, wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. Read it. What did he say? Oh God. Oh God. Thou knowest my foolishness. You know my foolishness. My sins are not hid from you. My sins are not hid from you. Let not them that wait on thee. Oh. Do not allow people that are looking unto you through me. Oh Lord God of hosts. To be disappointed. Why, how am I making wave without destroying people that are following me? GPS. Wisdom. I know you still love her. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 5, 15 and 16. Read it, please. I don't have time. Let me finish this thing so that we go. Uh, chapter 5 or 4. Chapter 4. First Timothy chapter 4, 15 and 16. Meditate upon these things. Meditate upon wisdom. Give thyself wholly to them. Give thyself wholly, totally to wisdom. That application you have downloaded in your phone. Don't do anything without asking the application. Just like me. I didn't go to university. But when I want to put anything on Facebook, whether I know it or I don't know it, I go back to dictionary. Whether I know it, I don't know it. I'll go back to the dictionary. How would this English sound? What's the meaning of this English? I don't over, a lot of accidents that happens in first world countries is overconfidence. Major accidents that happen, overconfidence. I've been driving, I know it, I know this, that, that. then you look away. Boom. 
But those that are still afraid, a little bit afraid, they are very careful. Can you, uh, when, even when they are driving you, look at their eyes, but those that have big eye glass. You know them? <laughs> Until I get to where I'm going. <laughs> you know, like, uh, uh, oh, we <laughs> touch your phone is ringing. Don't worry when I get to where I'm going. But those of our confidence, you can touch the phone, you can drink coffee, you can, oh no, hello, hello, pam, you have been made. But in Africa and Nigeria, is Buhari is the major cause of accident. <laughs> Buhari, Buhari is the major cause of accident. Did you get what I'm saying? He said, meditate on it. Hold on to it. Continue. <clears throat> that thy prophet may appear to all. That thy prophet may appear. Remember. What did the 1010 say? Ecclesiastes. Wisdom is what? Profitable to direct. There's a way you say, I don't know. Read the 1010, the last statement. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Go back to that place. That their profit may appear to all. Yeah, um, that their profit may appear to all. You see it. What is that thing? You see, hold on to it. When you hold on to wisdom, close your eyes. Allow me to drive. Wisdom is the driver of destiny. It's the driver of every building. If you want to build a right, you need the spirit of wisdom. Even Jesus himself couldn't do without the spirit. Though he be the epitome of wisdom, the wisdom of God. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Continue this with you. Take heed unto thyself. Take heed unto thyself. And unto the doctrine. And unto the doctrine of wisdom. Continue in them. Continue in them and what will happen? For in doing this, thou For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself. Indica, you will save yourself. And then you will save your wife. You will save your children. You will save members of church of our mission. You will save all the... Does it make sense? If you understand all the seven pillars, what they do, you start checking your life. Am I really, do I have that spirit of protection around me? When you want to go, protect you. Stops you from losing things. Oh, Australia will never believe me. I know it. Because they know I'm from Africa. Lord, the time has come. The rising of the water. The mighty name of Jesus. Glorify me now. That I will bring back the glory back unto you. What are you saying when you say that? You say, Arise, O God. When the water comes down, they will self retreat. They will believe this God. A time is coming, a time was coming in your life. He came in the life of our bishop, when witches. He came in the life of our bishop, basically that was time. So you need the glory of God for those season and time to empower the people looking at you. Now you need wisdom if you must do the right thing, for you know nothing. You know absolutely nothing. Let's take a story. Let's see how Jesus, in, Hebrew, in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1, how did Jesus make all his successes? <clears throat> the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. He was a prophesy. Who are the most accurate prophets in the Old Testament? Who can tell me number one? Mm hmm? Mm -hmm. I have number two. I've always told you. They mentioned them. David and Isaiah. Accurate. There was nothing. They saw, they saw after the uh, New Testament. They saw the manifestation. They were calling, they were seeing. Then shall be called a man. So when Isaiah, when you read the prophecy of Isaiah, it's clear. He was talking about from the, the Bible said the scepter shall be. Is it 48 verse 10 or 46? 49 verse 10. 
Genesis. Let's try, let's try, let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Should be 49 verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. The authority was talking about Jesus. Yeah, um, this, this which verse? Which verse? No, no. Verse 10. Which chapter? Chapter 49 10. 49 10. What did he say? The scepter shall not depart from Judah. When he was content to bless Judah, he said, The authority will come from you. That's what Isaiah is also talking about in Genesis. Continue. So Isaiah, Isaiah 11. <coughs> And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, mm -hmm. the spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of counsel. Are you seeing it now? It's not only this spirit will help you to counsel others, to advise them. Mm -hmm. The spirit of knowledge and of the field. Do you know what CGM Malaysia <coughs> does? I say within these four to five months I took over. He said, if you have been teaching us, is the last one they say, the pa Pastor Kobe has said. He said, all we know is that money is all we need to move the church forward. But after your prayer meeting with us, telling us that we should seek the most important thing, and you shared your testimony, the most important thing in my life, I've never achieved anything with money. So to tell you that it's not important. I heard from the Lord the most important thing is he sent forth his word. And I heard from the Lord 7th of December, 7th of January. First of all, it started in 2000. 14th of uh, December, 2000. I had me, a, I was like two talking to myself in a dream. And I was shouting, and God made me a promise. If, if you preach the truth, you will never be sick. That was why when doctors say you have this, I say it's a lie. Whose report should I believe? 14th of December, 2000. He said, you never be sick. You never have accident. If you preach my will, I'll pay your gifts. That's how money, that's money. Set forth the kingdom of God. 7th of January, 2000 and, uh, no, 2000, okay, started 7th of January, 2000. I was on dry, seven days dry fast. Then by December, he told me this. Then 3rd of October, 2000, he showed me Australia. These are the most important thing on earth. He said for this war. Where am I after how many years? Is it not the same spring? Wisdom. Profitable to that. I told them, they call this it for these four months. In fact, before this four months, when we were with you, we were enjoying, we knew. But now, when you see for these nine years, all we have been taught is money, money, money is you want. I told them you don't need, there's no money in ministry. The only thing in ministry is wisdom. Wisdom. You would die. What is the greatest prayer you can pray? What is the greatest answer prayer to your life? For you to start fitting in into the will of God for your life. Because before he created you, he has finished you. He has already finished the car you will buy. He has already finished the children you will give birth to. He has already finished everything. All you need every day, what is the next step, Lord? Wisdom is profitable to direct. And wisdom will start directing you. And wisdom will start directing you. When some ah, man, baba, shake, hey, go hold your hand. Your compass, your GPS is wisdom. Spirit. Continue. <clears throat> oh, that was all. That was continue. She continue the next verse. And it shall make him of quick understanding. And she shall make him of quick understanding. In the fear of the Lord. In the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge after the sight of his eyes. He will not judge after the sight of his eyes. You see it. Church, if I have been following leadership. Especially the Church of Commission Leadership, where I am today, I will have to with my Lord. A man of God says something very profound. Listen very well. I'll share it with my wife. I said, this is very true, and it's very, very true. But it might sound negative, but it's true. He said, there are two types of people. One is in perpetual slavery without knowing. But the other one now is free. You say you might be in a ministry. He said the ones that are rejected, check yourself very well. That's your freedom. 
The ones that are not accepted in the ministry, in the church, it's happening in Nigeria. If you are if you are a Igbo man, you cannot be accepted in the Yoruba church. If you have been rejected, he's calling for your freedom. He's calling for you if you are rejected in your among your brother, like Joseph. If his brother did not reject him, would he have had the freedom? Would he have been where he was today? It was so profound. The man of whom, when, you know, I, I said there are people that really get, You see, when you are rejected, don't hate yourself. They are helping you to locate your freedom. But there are those that are there. Oh, oh, Papa. Oh, that they are the boy. Oh, that they, But they are in complete slavery forever. They will never discover who they are. They will keep on. It's just like when I say, don't be a good boy at 40 years. When you know that, and uh, Nigeria has it in their English, the fool at 40 is a fool forever. Other people are answering me. Hey, young man. But when they want to address you, you are 40 years already. Boy, good boy. You under, the man say you under slavery, perpetual slavery. But when they gather together, it's not you. You don't want to go out. You don't want to be rejected. But you are doing what you are supposed to do, and they are calling you and saying you are a reject. He said they are just telling you that you are among the people that are going to change the generation. You you be liberated from this slavery, and soon you become among the gods. So he'll give you that wisdom. You will understand. When people are fighting against you, it's because you are different. Discover the difference between you and them. You are not called to remain under perpetual slavery. <laughs> oh, the Jew. Oh, the, oh, oh. Do you know what they say? Whatever they say, do it. Who are those people? Human being. Even our Bishop Bessie also have made mistakes. He made mistakes that even when he was alive, when I'm under him, because of this thing the Bible says, if I see that mistake and get it from wisdom, my God, I check it. I'm sure that he's not God, he's Jehovah, he's not Jehovah, he's a man, he's a servant of God. But this thing is saying, go and buy private jet. I'm not involved. Read it again. That's what spirit of wisdom does for you. And you shall make him of quick understanding. Quick understanding. The fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord, and not the fear of man. And he shall not judge after his, the sight of his eyes. He will not judge based on. He will not be bribed. He will not be bribed. You see, somebody trying to bribe you with bishop, making me a bishop. He's a waste of time. Making me a bishop. Oh, no, we are going to. You can't change. Thank God, my God, I've already discovered it. The only power I need in life is here. This is all the trouble I have in life. All the blessing I have been having. It depends on how you control it. Continue. <clears throat> Neither reprove after the hearing of his, his ears. Mm -hmm. But the righteousness shall he judge the poor. He shall judge the poor righteously. Continue. And reprove with equity for the meek. When he sees somebody making a mistake, he will reprove without. For the meek of the earth. Continue <clears throat> fast. And he shall sweat the earth with the rod of his mouth. He Smith the earth, it doesn't mean he comes with soul too, mm. to separate father and abundance. Continue. And with the breath of his lips shall mm. he slay the wicked, mm -hmm. and righteousness shall be the greater of his Lord. Oh. Yeah. And faithfulness the greater of his reigns. Yes. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb. It's not only that, he would, in his wisdom, he will bring the wolf and the lamb together. Mm. And the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The leopard shall lie down. Continue. And the calf and the young lion mm -hmm. and the fatling mm -hmm. and a little child shall lead them. A little child in his wisdom, somebody that is not even qualified to lead them, will lead them. And the cow and the bear shall feed. Mm -hmm. The young. What part are you now? Oh, that's verse 7. Mm -hmm. It's okay, let's leave it. <clears throat> now, church, what I'm trying to say in effect is that look at how wisdom will place you in the world. You don't need prayers because you have already. You know, being trained. Hebrews chapter 5, 12 to 14, I will close. 
Yes. In which chapter 5? From verse 12. This is where wisdom will place you. If you marry wisdom, if you love wisdom, what will happen? Continue. For when the time you ought to be teachers. When the time you ought to be teachers. You have need that won't teach you again. You have need. Which be the first principle of the oracles of God. This should be the first principle. Continue. And have become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. Mm -hmm. For everyone that seek that uses milk is unskillful. He's unskillful. In the word of righteousness. Mm -hmm. For he is a babe. Mm -hmm. But strong meat belongs to them that are of full age. Mm -hmm. Even those who by reason of use of their senses exercise to discern good. By the use of their senses, exercise. Now, church, there's something about me. When I found it, I, I just said, God, thank you. You need wisdom for three things. To drive your destiny. To drive your beauty. To guide you in your beauty. Two, spirit of cancer. When people ask you for advice, you can't lack what to tell them. If you don't have it, go to pray. It happened to David. Dan, I mean Daniel. Daniel said, give me a day. I'll go and pray, and I'll come back. Do you know the last one? Good judgment. Is your driver to your destiny, in your beauty. If wisdom is not the one driving, forget it. Spirit of wisdom. Two, cancer when you are communicating. Three, he said, by the use of your senses, you know the right and good. Is there anyone confused? That's why he said that a child will lead when somebody that is using wisdom to build. Is there any of you that is struggling in their department or trying to say, okay, uh, the department pastor? Where you discovered for GB or discovered for Vanu, there's a struggle. Is there a struggle? It's only people that want you to be their mentor. When I see you, I have that discernment. I don't need. Just like Jimmy has been coming to church. <coughs> 2014. And God did not reveal anything to me. When the time came, he came with sword. We really want to go and kill the captain. But that was not actually that. But God wanted to give me an opportunity to descend him. And that was the day I made the decision. I said, I told him, the way I spoke to him that day, I wasn't, I was only trying to, I told him, wait, soon God will reveal to you the truth. You want to know the truth. Because I was like him. That was how I came to God. Innocently, but with all my heart, very open. of you that comes, I can discern. That's what wisdom, spirit of wisdom does. It means, imagine when I'm doing something with people. If I'm working with somebody now, a client or working with um, a staff, why do you think I don't get into trouble? I know the staffs I could, I, I open up my mouth and talk. I know the staffs I will just keep quiet throughout the whole mind. So different Stars have different understanding about me. It's not about me, it's about them. I have discerned that person. Anything I say will be misunderstood. I just avoid it. You know your position. When I lose my integrity in the community, it will take me years. Even if, if it is possible for me to recover it. I said every minister. And I'm not among the people that come and, and uh, come and pretend and do this. It time will come even when I need to. Why are you doing this? I don't understand you. Say because I'm a priest. I'm a reverend minister. I can't do it. Are you getting my point? When you have wisdom, your life will be directed. It's profitable to direct. And directed around. If you will love wisdom. If you worship wisdom. If you hold wisdom, that's all you need. And when people come to you for advice, cancer, spirit of good cancer. And when you say things, you might be, will be able to judge. 
and say this is this is that this is this church i'm here to challenge you do you really want to build your family well you need to be protected from loss otherwise you will level and throw away and you never get to grow number two a time will come when you don't have the ability to convince or empower the people around you, you will need the glory of God for empowerment and for the presence of God. Number three, you know nothing, absolutely nothing. You know nothing, absolutely nothing. You will only be known as a wise person if you marry wisdom. If you download the application of wisdom, and put in your phone, and every question, everything you want to do, wisdom is the principle that you ask wisdom. Whatever wisdom tells you, whether it's against your game, whether it's you are going to lose anybody, it doesn't matter. Time shall tell. Stand up. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace beyond every human understanding. May the wisdom of God be upon you. May the wisdom of God locate you. In every step you take, obeying and loving and holding wisdom, you shall be directed at right. You will make profit. You will make gain. Many shall follow your God. Many shall serve your God. In the name of Jesus, you will not be ordinary. The Bible says, he that winneth soul is wise. Thank you, O God, because many souls shall be rushed into the kingdom because of us. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.